So yesterday I installed my beam header monitor in the accelerator here and just doing the last little kind of tidyings up and analysing it here before I leave and do things with it when the beam's on again. Uh, so I'm just going to explain to you what it's doing here and what is happening here. So this is the accelerator, this is the synchrotron. You can probably hear it's quite noisy in here because there's a lot of fans. So apologies for that. So like I said in my last video, these red ones, these are copper poles, these are used for focusing down the beam. The yellow ones are sexy poles, which are used for focusing down the beam in a slightly fancier way. And then this, this big boy, is a dipole, which is used to bend the beam of electrons. And when the beam of electrons get bent to this magnet, it lets off really intense light, really intense synchrotron radiation, which is what I'm going to be looking at with my beam home monitor. This big dipole is my source point. So I'll be using mirrors and lenses to look all the way down from about there to this dipole, looking at the beam mirror. So this is the port where the light that I'll be looking at actually comes out of the accelerator. It gets created in that big green dipole, comes down the accelerator, and then inside there, if you can see, there's a mirror which reflects it out of the accelerator. It's called the vacuum extraction mirror. And then this one here is also a mirror, and it goes down to that mirror there, and then that mirror reflects it into my beam power monitor. Now, if you actually look down at that mirror, you can see reflected in it the mirrors that are part of the beam home monitor, which makes sense because that's the path that the light takes. So you, you can see that first mirror, which is a, a weird shape, so it's got some motors attached, so you can adjust it. And then the next mirror, and then after that it gets a little bit dark, so you can't see the rest. But it's a, a good way to check that the mirrors are nicely aligned, because you can look down and say, ah yes, I can see where the light will go, I can see the next few mirrors, this is nicely aligned. So, under here is the beam power monitor. On the left you can see that mirror that I was just showing you, which reflects the synchrotron light to this first mirror here on the optical rail. And this mirror has some motors attached, so we can really finely adjust the angle of it and make sure it's very nicely aligned. And then that reflects the synchrotron light into the rest of the beam power monitor. Just to quickly recap what I told you in the walking into work video, I have my fancy Borg lens, which is an upper chromat, which means it's really good for focusing white light. Then some baffles to eliminate any stray light. And then finally, a fancy camera on a motion stage, so I can move this back and forth and make sure it's focused onto the right object plane. This camera is a CMOS camera, which means the sensor in it um, doesn't bleed when it's saturated. You're able to saturate some of the pixels without it ruining the whole image. So, when the accelerator is turned on, these bright white lights are turned off, but there are some purple lights that are turned on. So we have to make sure the monitor is protected from this background light by using a big dark blanket. And then also, I've added some shielding around the camera. Some more dark cardboard to make sure that there's as little background as possible and we can really get a nice clear image of that beam halo. So my beam halo monitor is all set up and ready to go. I'll be taking some of the first images on Friday and then again on Monday and so hopefully that will give me some interesting things to analyse. You might have noticed I'm in different clothes because I started filming this on a different day to when I finished and who's continuity. Uh, but I hope you found this interesting. I will keep you updated if I find any interesting images. And thank you for listening. Bye!